you all get out of back home. But, oh, yeah, I got to tell y'all, listen, I pray. And I pray you share, like, and share this video. It's very important. But I was going to do a separate video on this, but why not? You know, I might as well talk about what needs to be talked about while I'm doing this stuff. But I pray that y'all share this. And get this information to brothers and sisters because very important. Well, I was out downtown the other day, and praise the high of I ran into these two sisters, right? Now I didn't know, you know, I didn't. I thought they were probably Jordanian, but you know, and I we were in a, we, me and another friend. We was at a restaurant. We was just eating, and they sat in the next table. To us, to one of them, right? And, and, they, and these sisters was from Saudi Arabia. Now I was shocked. Saudi Arabia, because I didn't think, you know, but they were American. So I was like, oh, I say, so what y'all doing over there in Saudi Arabia? They let y'all in? They was like, yeah, we. Work. Oh God, she about to break this stuff. They was like, yeah, we work. Um, we work over there. I said, really? I said, oh, that, so you don't have to be a Muslim to come there? They said, no, not anymore. You could get in the country. You could go. Everybody could go. Everybody is welcome into Saudi Arabia. I was like, well, praise the high. You see, the most high always be putting me into these different places and situations so I could get information. And I, I tell you, he do it to me all the time. So I just happened to be at the restaurant and meet these two sisters that worked in Saudi Arabia that was from America. And they've been working there for maybe about two years now. Yes. So I was like, really? You don't need to be a Muslim? She said, no, you could just come. So they done open up Saudi Arabia. So they done open up Saudi Arabia. So they done open up Saudi Arabia. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. You will not be able to lose yourself on stag and skip out for beer during commercials because the revolution will not be televised. Revolution will not be televised. It's televised. The whole world is watching. It's televised. Get out of Babylon. It's televised. The whole world is watching, it's televised. Get out of Babylon. It's televised. The whole world is watching, it's televised. Get out of Babylon. Okay, guys, I am back. And, okay, so now I'm here with these stickers. These doggone stickers. <laughs> so I have to put it on these things. I'll just do a few. I've been putting some. And I'll just be doing some more. But we go here, and it's not much to do, but it's just, uh, you know, trying to unstick them and place them on the thing. So this is what my day's been looking like. Well, now I'm starting to feel it because I'm tired. But here we go, guys, Hebrewism. And this is for body lotion, uh, you got for body oils, um, all kinds of deodorant, uh, you know, everything. And I'm going to be finished with this stuff. I changed the labels. I changed a lot of stuff. And I'm going to stick with this for a while. But the stuff is very good. Very good, guys. And I'm so happy. And I'm saying to the high yet. And I, I don't know if this could fit right here. Let me see if these could fit. One of these glass ones. They should be able because they're about the same size. But I may, I may have made a, a size for these as well. But it looks like it fits. Let's 
You know, I be dropping stuff, breaking stuff. Yeah, this fits, but it does fit. It fits. So they're about the same size. This one is just a little bigger. And it's not much. And the top for this, is it this? Yeah. So these circles are there, but I, I, I've been forgetting them all. I just, you know, I'm putting them together. But I think I may want some specifically for these as well. And this says body lotion. Okay. Yay! Praise the higher. All right now. Been doing business in another country now. Okay now. The only thing about it is that you have to pay taxes for two locations, for two different countries, and that could be a bit much. So we're gonna see how this works out. Praise the higher, you know. But. You know, I've been work. I, you know, I've been working here long enough. So it's, it's uh, you know, I definitely should have um, went to another level with this thing. You know, I think I praise the higher that I can. And I was setting this up for a while. You know, because I had my website for a long time, so it's not that far fetched that I would branch out and you know do my business full time, especially. It's like I feel like I was forced because of COVID. You know, the teaching thing dried up and I was really tired. I was tired seven years ago from teaching. Right? You know, but I, that was my trade. I always could do it. So that's, you know, I could always fall back on it. Even again, if I have to hire willing that I don't. Right? But yeah, so I didn't, I didn't tell you guys, but <laughs> well, I'll talk about it another time because I don't feel like going into it. But yes, Hebrewism, I got my grand. Praise a higher. So I pray you guys support it. I pray you guys buy some lotion. Try it out. I have small sizes that you can try. These are really small. These are like samples. But y'all can try the stuff. It's really good. And I mean, I got deodorant, the oils. But I've always been doing this. But, you know, now I, I'm, I'm really pushing it. So I pray you guys support the stuff. All natural. You know, prayed up and prayed over. And that's important. The anointing from the Most High Ahaya is a blessing. Healing, okay? You got to get that healing and you got to be praying a lot of stuff. And that's why, you know, people be using this stuff that they don't know where people, what they believe, what they doing. And even if they, you know, just because people be praying, that don't mean the Most High be with them, Okay? Okay, hello, I don't want to say that, but it's true. You know what I'm saying? Just because people be praying, that don't mean the most high is with them. So, I want to go where the blessings, blessings are. Praise the high. So, I just say that to say, you know, it, it's important that we pray over our stuff. It's important that we, you know, go with what... You know, um, you know what people believe. That's important. You know, that's important. And I pray you all get out of Babylon. But oh yeah, I gotta tell y'all this. I pray, and I pray you share, like, and share this video. It's very important. But I was gonna do a separate video on this, but why not? You know. I might as well talk about what needs to be talked about while I'm doing this stuff. But I pray that y'all share this 
and get this information to brothers and sisters because very important. Well, I was out downtown the other day, and praise the high I ran into these two sisters, right? Now I didn't know, you know, I didn't. I thought they were probably Jordanian, but you know, and I we were in a, we, me and another friend. We was at a restaurant. We was just eating, and they sat in the next table to us. So you know. They started talking and stuff. At first, I wasn't really paying them too much mind. But then, um, you know, I started hearing them talking. It was, I thought, first, at first, I thought it was like Jordanian. But then I heard the English. It was so good. So then I said, well, you know. So towards the end, when we were finished eating, because I was eating first, then I turned around and I started talking to one of them, right? And, they, and these sisters was from Saudi Arabia. Now, I was shocked. Saudi Arabia, because I didn't think, you know, but they were Americans. So I was like, oh. I said, so what y'all doing over there in Saudi Arabia? They let y'all in? They was like, yeah, we work. Oh, God, she about to break this stuff. They was like, yeah, we work, um, we work over there. I said, really? I said, oh, that's, so you don't have to be a Muslim to come there? They said, no, not anymore. You could get in the country. You could go. Everybody could go. Everybody is welcome into Saudi Arabia. I was like, well, praise the high. You see, the most high always be putting me into these different places and situations so I can get information. And I, I tell you, he do it to me all the time. So I just happened to be at the restaurant and meet these two sisters that worked in Saudi Arabia that was from America. And they've been working there for maybe about two years now. Yes. So I was like, really? You don't need to be a Muslim? She said, no, you could just come. So they done opened up Saudi Arabia. Now, I know a couple of months ago I did the video that, um, you know, they had turned um, the holy spoke, um, Jebel Laws. Now, let me tell you about Jebel Laws. They, the name Jebel, Jebel Laws, they think they slip. Naturally, the children of Israel who are just waking up to, um, you know, we just waking up. So we don't know too much of anything. We lost our identity. We lost our power. We lost our land. We lost our language. So we don't know too much of anything. So we hear something like Jebel Laws, L-A-W-Z. We're going to think the most laws, Moses, the laws, you know, that Moses received at the Mount Sinai. So they say, oh, Jebel Laws, Jebel Laws. And it just means the mountain of almonds. It don't have nothing to do with Moses. It doesn't. So that was another like play on words. They think they slick. Trying to, you know, just play us like they do. Trying to put the holy mountain in Saudi Arabia. But it doesn't mean anything. It's just Jebel Laws means mountain of almonds. Go figure. More crazy foolishness that, you know, we've been buying into anyway. With the big rock with the split in it. And talking about, oh, that's where Moses struck the rock. Anyway, so now it's open. Now, I used to always say, oh, you couldn't get in there anyway, right? So you, there's no way to get there. But it's a blessing that this place is open. So for all the brothers and sisters who claiming that Jordan's not, Jordan's not the place, Jebel, um, Mount Sinai isn't in Jordan, like I've been telling y'all for years about Kadesh, Kadesh, Kadesh. Look it up in the Bible, read the scriptures, but nobody's going to cover it. Now, you can go to Saudi Arabia, brothers and sisters. You can go to Saudi Arabia. There's nothing stopping brothers and sisters from leaving Babylon and getting out of America and going to Saudi Arabia, where you believe that's the holy mountain, that's where Moses struck the rock. Y'all believe all that, so now there's no reason to stop y'all from going getting out of Babylon, because all y'all doing is talking about how bad Babylon is, how they tricking the children of Israel, how his destruction is coming, prepare, get your backpack by the door, all of this, but now you can get on the plane and go directly to the place where you say you're supposed to be. There's nothing stopping you. For the last two years, this place has been open. You can go. And I didn't know that until I spoke to these two sisters from America. Because, see, they ain't telling nobody nothing. 
They're not saying nothing, brothers and sisters. So if you believe that Saudi Arabia is the place, you can now come out of Babylon and go to Saudi Arabia. There's nothing stopping you. Okay? Now, I'd rather you get up out of Babylon and go to Saudi Arabia than you sit in Babylon and get destroyed. There's nothing holding you, brothers and sisters. They, people are telling you that you can't leave, that you can't do this, you can't do that. Don't go to Jordan. Okay, okay. Don't go to Jordan. Don't go. Don't, don't. don't go. Go ahead. Saudi Arabia is open. You can go, brothers and sisters. Get out of Babylon. And I gladly say, like, you don't have to come to Jordan. And, but I know you shouldn't go to Africa. That's the place you should not go. Because that's where we went into captivity. The Most High sent us into um, ran, running into Africa because we were going into captivity. We're no longer going into captivity, brothers and sisters. Get to the holy mountain. Now, y'all know for years, I done proved it. I told you Jordan is the place. I told you about Kadesh. I told you about where the holy mountain is in Jordan. You know. Everybody knows now. So it's up to y'all. Y'all can do it the easy way or you can do it the hard way. <laughs> it's up to you. It's like the Most High is giving y'all choices and y'all, it's up to you. But I just want to let y'all know that if for all those people who do not believe that Jordan is the place that you've been lied to about Mount Sinai in Egypt, Mount Sinai in Saudi Arabia, if you don't want to believe Sister Kana and you don't want to come to Jordan, okay. Get out of Babylon and go to Saudi Arabia. Listen, I'll even help you. You know, I have I do with deal with tourism. I'll help you get packages. I'll set you up with good trips and prices. Listen, I'll help you. Get out. That's how much I really want y'all to just get out of Babylon. You know? Get out. Now I could have kept that to myself and been trying to act like, oh, I didn't know, but well, I, the most high let me know, so I tell the children of Israel, if you believe that Saudi Arabia is the place, you can now go. Get out, brothers and sisters. Get out of Babylon. You can go to Saudi Arabia. Okay? Now, I'm not telling you that that's the place to go to. I'm telling you, you can get in. There's no problem. You can do just like I'm doing here. Get yourself together and, you know, wait until... You know, things is prepare, 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 prepare. You don't have to be running nowhere with no backpack on you, you know, in no desert in America and somewhere just to get destroyed. Ahaya said, come out of my people. That place is going to be destroyed. Brothers and sisters, get out. So if you believe Saudi Arabia is the place, go. Get out. It's open. You don't need to be a Muslim. There's no restrictions. Go. Now, I don't know about the whole COVID thing. You have to find out. Like, I don't know. And maybe I can find that out for you as well. If there's COVID restrictions in Saudi Arabia. Because it's very close to Jordan. It's only a, more like a little border. So I would rather you go there and get out of Babylon if you don't really believe or understand that Jordan is the place. The Mount Sinai is here. The Red Sea Crossing is here. This is where the children of Israel sojourned 40 years in the wilderness and we will do it again here in Jordan. But it's amazing how the Most High is pulling out another brick in that foolishness in, in Babylon where people are telling you that Mount Sinai is the place because they thought you couldn't get in. But now it's open. And it's open because they tried to restrict you from flying and all this COVID stuff. But Because you should have left a long time ago, brothers and sisters. So I urge you to get out of Babylon. I just wanted to tell y'all that, but I forgot. I almost forgot. So I hope, um, please share this video and send it to people so that people can see that Saudi Arabia is open, brothers and sisters. You can go. So if you believe. Again, I'm going to say it again. If you believe that that's where we're going to be at in, in Saudi Arabia, there's no, there's no reason for you to sit in Babylon waiting on destruction. There's no reason. The Most High is still giving y'all an out. He's still giving y'all an out, brothers and sisters. He's still giving y'all an out. Take it. Run for your lives. Get out. And you can always contact Sister Connor. I'm going to be here in Jordan.
okay? I don't have no desire to go to no Saudi Arabia, and I pray I don't have to go, you know? But if that's what you guys feel in your spirit, if that's what's sizzling in your spirit, now there's no excuse. So you can ask your elders, like, why? Y'all can even take a, a trip, a church trip, a whole congregation, all these people who believe that Saudi Arabia is the place. Because they don't want to get up and make a move. We're going to see how much people get up and make a move. You could do a, a church, church, um, you know, a whole congregation could go and see the biblical sites. Nobody's that interested, it seems. Nobody's that interested. The most I said, they love me with much talking, but their hearts are far from me. Oh, say that again, Sister Connor. Ahaya said, they love me with much talking, blah, 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 blah. He said, but their hearts are far from me. Nobody is checking for the information. Nobody is trying to find out what to do. Saudi Arabia is open now. You can go to Saudi Arabia. If you really, really feel that you're supposed to leave Babylon, if you really believe the Bible, that the most I say, come out of her, my people, if you really, really believe, that that place is going to be destroyed. There's no reason. Nothing should be stopping you, brothers and sisters, from getting out now. If you don't believe Jordan is the place, because Jordan is the place, this is where we're going to be. But some people just got to spin their wheels and go all over the place instead of just getting to where the safe place is. Because some people, they got to purge. They got to go through some stuff. So that's why the Most High ain't even going to allow them to see nothing. Because their hearts ain't right with him. So that's another story. I don't want to get all into that. But I just want to say, praise the high Abaj and Mishaya. Ain't the Most High merciful? He's just making a way for Israel all around. Like he's like really trying to give Israel the benefit of the doubt. Like... <laughs> I've never seen nothing like it in my life. The, the, how many chance after chance a higher has, has given people? Chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. Hebrewism, baby. Okay? Oils, scrubs, soaps, olive oil, oil, neem, um, no, olive oil, body scrub, olive oil, soap. You know, bath wash, you can wash your hair with it and your um, body with it. It's so pure and, and natural. Your hair and body wash, you can got a body scrub, you got body frankincense and myrrh body spray, body wash mixed with the olive oil. Awesome, guys. Really, really awesome. So, y'all yeah, should get some of this. This stuff is really, really good. Cleanse, cleanse your mind, body, and your spirit. Cleanse you. Like when Esther was going to get married to the king and she bathed with myrrh and sweet oils and stuff like that. That's what you need, sisters. You need that. Bathe like Esther did. And you just bathe yourself. And, ooh, I joined a gym also. So after Ramadan, because I can't really do it. Um, I couldn't really go during Ramadan because they didn't open till 11 o'clock. And I'm already start, you know, be starting my day. And I don't want, you know, I didn't want to have to go to the gym. But now, after this week, I can go to the gym in the morning. Like, get there early, 7. They got a pool. They got the sauna. They got the steam room. I love, 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 love. I'm going to be using my mugs. I'm going to use my body scrub, my frankincense and myrrh. And then I'm going to get the uh, Turkish bath. You let the woman Helga throw me around the room. They be like, oh, beating you up. You know, they really, they scrub you. The Turkish bath is really nice. So, baby, I'm excited about that. Uh, I forgot. So, so, okay, so that's what I was saying about 
Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. Nobody don't even care. <laughs> People don't even care. They ain't thinking about getting out of Babylon. They're buying homes, all kinds of stuff, sending their kids to college. They're not thinking about leaving Babylon, y'all. And now Saudi Arabia is open. Ain't that supposed to be where Mount Sinai is? I done told y'all turn, they done turned it into a whole resort. But so much so that they opened it up that anybody could go and visit. Ain't that something? So now, you can get into Saudi Arabia. There's nothing stopping you. So for all those people, like I said before, who believe that Mount Sinai is in Saudi Arabia, you can get up and leave, brothers and sisters. Get up and leave. Get out of Babylon. The Most High is still giving y'all a chance. He's a merciful power boy. He's still giving y'all a chance. We're going to see how many of y'all up and leave and get up out of there. But just remember when you go, that Jordan is just a hop, skip, and a jump. And when you get there and you realize that that ain't the place, you know. It don't take much to get to Jordan. Okay? So I, I just want to tell you that, guys. I'm glad I remembered. My mind was not there. And I'm going to finish this. Put in these stickers. Oh, I got so much to do for the candles, the deodorant. I have a lot to do. So I give all glory and praise to Ahaya Asha, Ahaya Bahasha Nishaya. Look into the Saudi Arabia thing. If you want to go to Saudi Arabia, you can contact me. I have some affiliates that I can set you up with for your trip and tours if you want to go. The whole Israelite community should be going. If y'all believe that uh, Mount Sinai is in Saudi Arabia, Jebel Laws, this, this mountain of almonds, it don't even mean Mo Moses nothing. It has nothing to do with that. They lied. They just, they just put out a little in the window so that you would, you know, you would think that it means something, but it doesn't. Jordan is the place. If you want to come to Jordan and see the um, mountain where Aaron is buried, Petra where our forefathers are buried, you can come. The brother says, I'll set you up with some toys. Some nice, reasonable tours. Go to itoldyoutravel.com or itoldyoutravel at yahoo.com or info at itoldyoutravel.com. And I'll send you certain, to tell me how long you want to stay. I'll send you an itinerary, give you a good price and everything. But get out of Babylon, brothers and sisters. It's time to go. This is a quiet lull. They're about to bring down the hammer slammer. They're about to bring it down, brothers and sisters. Don't act like, like, oh, I'm so shocked. Oh, I can't believe it. Mm-hmm. Stop. Stop it. Y'all going to stop it. Because I've been warning you for years. So now the Most High them took another brick out. Another brick out of that whole Babylon, sitting in Babylon, waiting for destruction. The Most High opened Saudi Arabia. So if you still think that, that, um, Mount Sinai is in Saudi Arabia. You can still go even to Mount Sinai with no problems. Why are you sitting in Babylon? Talking about how terrible it is. Talking about all the problems and all the wickedness that's going on there. All that emasculating the black man. All this stuff. And y'all still sitting in there. I don't understand y'all. Some people are just glutton for punishment. Some people are just a slave. You just a slave. Your whole mindset is a slave. You don't know how to leave. You don't know how to get up when you're not wanted. You don't know how to just get up and walk out. Nothing. Nothing. Y'all just sitting in there complaining. Complaining, complaining, complaining. Blah, 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 blah. Just want to talk, 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 talk about what Esau is doing to you, how Esau is doing it to you. And you can just get up and go. You can leave. Why are you, that is like such a slave mentality to sit there and be brutalized, disrespected, demon, oh my gosh, y'all get out, <laughs> just go, just go, okay? Shalom, I give all praise to Ahaya, he's so merciful, bye. You will not be able to stay home, brother. 
not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. You will not be able to lose yourself on stag and skip out for beer during commercials because the revolution will not be televised. Revolution will not be televised. It's televised. The whole world is watching. It's televised. Get out of Babylon. It's televised. The whole world is watching. It's televised. Get out of Babylon. It's televised. The whole world is watching. It's televised. Get out of Babylon.